Hey guys, Extra Sansler here, and you're watching Gaming Guides. Now, uh, the following is a guide of uh, Fallout 3 and all these schematic locations. Now, the first one is the Dark Gun, and it's located near Raven Rock, uh, up at the top left of the map. Um, it's right next to sort of like a power line area, and it's next to a dead mechanic or engineer or whatever. And there's also a Dean Electronics book and the key to the gate, but you don't actually have to go around because of uh, the uh, fence is down, so just jump at the fence. Now here's the death claw gauntlet. Um, there's a death claw around, as no surprise, and this is at the bottom left of the map, near around there, and it's a F. Scotty, some ridiculous name, and uh, it's in this uh, little shack here, and you go inside, and it's on the floor, and I just sit around, so uh, trying to look around. There's not much around here, just a few bits and ends, a few squirrels on sticks near a barbecue uh, part, but it's really nothing else around here apart from this. And there's the railway rifle. Um, this one is, I believe, at some yeah, it's the power station. That's right. Uh, it's actually easy to get. No enemies really. It's on the opposite side of the power station, and it's in this little building here, sort of outside the power station, and it's just inside on a workbench. And there it is on the workbench there. With a uh, bottle cap mine next to it. Now is the shishka bag, the flame sword, probably the most popular weapon. Excellent computer. Yeah, it's just outside a bunch of weird satellite things and there's Brotherhood outcasts. I don't really know what they're doing. I think they're supposed to do Operation Anchorage. I'm not really sure, to be honest. But they just sort of stand around. Um, this is, like I said, this is near these uh, satellite areas. It's near this sort of up top near Oasis, next to I think the place is the Cons yeah Fort Constantine, just um, east of Fort Constantine really. It's not easy or hard to miss. It's just sort of there. It's on the table next to the wrench and the sensor module and ammunition. And here's the rock it launcher. Now I need to mention you can get this in a lot of other locations. Um, I bought it from this person because to be honest, I cannot be asked to go to uh, Rivet City and go into the armory and nick it because I can't get into the armory because it's locked so uh, you need 1200 caps I think it is around that um, and I just sold a few of my missiles to get 300 caps so just loads and I bought it and that's pretty much it so yeah like I said you can get some obligation most of these uh, schematics can be bought but I'm just showing the location where you can find them so you can save a few caps no, I don't really spend any caps anyway. Right, next up is the Nuka Grenade, which is probably the most annoying to get. Um, it's located inside, within inside two caves, really. So you go inside the first cave, which is full of raiders. Once you get through there, there's a few frag grenade mines around, so you're going to have to deal with them. Um, it's just a reasonable thing. Then you go all the way to the back, and there's another cave which is full of uh, the giant wolf creatures. I've forgotten the name for them, but yeah, they're sort of cross between a mutated bear thing. But I've killed them also. There's about six in here. I've forgotten the names of them, and it's on the floor back there. I just sort of went too fast. There it is. Nuke grenade. And just follow it around, and you'll get back up. There they are. Those weird things. Wherever they are. Right, it's the bottle cap mine. This is probably the most worthless one because I find bottle cap mines everywhere and I don't even use them. Uh, you can I bought it from Nick Knack, but you can get it from other places. I don't really know. I've forgotten. I know you can buy it from other places, but you can't actually find it in the uh, wasteland. So I went to uh, Little Lamplight. If you don't know what that is, it's in the story. So just go for the story. You can, if you have the child at heart perk, you can get this for cheaper. I think I'll be able to get it for free, I'm not sure, but I'm not, but I know you can if you're cheaper. And here's the achievement. There's the rocket launcher out there. It's a pretty one of my favourite one actually, but it's better than all the other ones. Bottle cap mine created, and here's the achievement right now. It should have pop up. There it is, button to it. So, yeah, a worthless piece of 30 game score. Now, here's testing each weapon. You can get the idea of this, it's just bang, explosion there. This is probably my f most favourite actually, the dark gun, because it just sort of, it doesn't kill people, it sort of makes them walk really slow, like they've just had an anal prostate, you know, or something. 
but of course you don't actually see that because I'm an arsehole and I won't show footage of it. Uh, not really my favourite, probably my least favourite is that. Although it does make you explode, which is kind of awkward. And then there's the railway rifle, which is pretty awesome too. And this is pretty funny, I managed to stick his head through the actual railing. <clears throat> which really makes no sense because it, you, his just head is bolted inside the railing. Pretty funny actually. And here's the rocket launcher. This this weapon just is probably the best weapon in the game. It might not be, the Lincoln repeat is pretty decent, but it just to fire anything is just pretty fun. And this is the shish kebab. It sort of speaks for itself. It's a it's a giant sword which is on fire. Most people like this one. <clears throat> and 